Good morning. 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 My friend from Turkey, nice and loud. United. Whatever he said. <laughs> My name is Stephen V. Richardson. And for the record, <laughs> which means I also have international student experience. So for the record, we are family, right? Fellow international students. We're all the same hopefully going out there to achieve the same things. I was invited today to speak with you, to share with you my secrets of success. Just me. They may or may not work for you, but the goal is hopefully that if you learn something, maybe one thing, that'll help you be more successful in a shorter period of time, easier than it took most of us to figure it out, that's going to be a good thing. Is that a good thing? Yes? Yeah. Because most people don't figure out how to be successful until they're 30 years old, or 40 years old, or 50 years old, or never. Some people never learn the secrets of success. So I came here to share with you my secrets of success. Maybe they'll work for you, maybe they won't, but at least I'll share them with you. Is that a good idea? Yeah. All right. Only so here are the things we're going to talk about today. Ready? My secrets of success. First, learn what successful people know. Sounds basic, right? There's a lot of knowledge for successful people. Learn what they know. Two, do what successful people do. Just do it. They're successful. Do what they do. The third thing is, be where successful people are. Hang out with them. Whether it's online, whether it's face-to-face, -face, just be where they are because if you hang out with successful people, you can't help but be more successful. Right? Does that make sense? On the other hand, if you hang out with losers, bad people, negative people, they will bring you down. So everybody you interact with is either helping you or hurting you. That's what I believe. So I, my goal is always to hang around successful people. So we're going to talk about those three things for the next little bit. All right? Sound good? So my challenge to you, first have a goal. It can change. doesn't matter. Then share it with everybody. Your family, your friends, your coworkers if you're working, your teachers, strangers in the street. Hi, my name is Steven. I want to be a journalist. Okay? Because if you do, all of a sudden, help starts coming. It's like magic. But if you keep it a secret, nobody can help you. Is that making sense? Yes? All right. I can't help you if I don't know who you are. I won't help you if I don't believe in you or trust you. And I also can't help you if I don't know what you're trying to achieve. Is this making sense? Have a goal. Learn what you need to do. Do it. Share it with the world. Basic thing. Now why do I share that with you? I share it for this reason. You have an opportunity to be the space shuttle. If you work hard now, now, harder than you've ever worked before, harder than you think you can work, later on in life I guarantee you it'll be easier. I don't make a lot of guarantees. Or, you could just go through life and have fun and all that, and you'll never get off the ground. Be the space shuttle. This is your chance. Most people, I call them the woulda, coulda, shoulda people. Oh, if I just would have worked harder when I was younger. Oh, I should have studied better. Oh, when I was in the United States, I had all this opportunity and all I did was play around with my friends. And then it's too late. Regrets. I wish I knew then what I know now. And that's why I'm sharing a little bit with you. Okay? And the most important thing, I'm going to be the last thing I'm going to say. I believe in you. Because I know it's not easy to go to a foreign country 
and study and live like you're doing now. You're different than all of your peers. Okay? I believe in you that you're going to be successful. I believe in you that you're going to be successful. The question that I have for you is do you believe in yourself? Do you? Do you? Because until you believe in yourself, most people won't believe in you. And you won't be, you behave differently. So when you don't let any negative thing come into your life, it could be family. If they're negative, they need to go or change. If it's friends, you need a different friend. If it's where you work, you need to work someplace else. Okay? So, it's been a privilege talking right. to you. So, thank you very much. Yeah, keep, it on. keep it on. That's done. All right.